Dear Diary, Month 10, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Evenart Adam on Instagram and Tumblr. I will have Evenart Adam linked in the description box as well as the prior nine chapters if you haven't listened to them already. Now then, please enjoy Dear Diary, Month 10. Dear Diary, Adrian showed some response today, I guess. I mean, I wasn't there for it, and he didn't wake up, but his fingers twitched or something? I don't know. I don't want to think about it right now. There's enough false hope in my life already. Rumor has it his dad is transferring him out of the hospital. I wonder where he'll go. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, I keep expecting Cat Noir to just show up at the Akumavites. I don't know what's going on with Hawk Moth, but there were four victims yesterday and five today. It's like he's on the prowl or something. I think he noticed the lack of Cat Noir. Uh, could that be it? He's trying to get my miraculous thinking Cat Noir's on vacation or something? I hate to make my friends keep fighting, but I can't do this on my own. I'm even using Chloe, despite everyone knowing she's Queen Bee. Like, <laughs> at this point, Alia and Nino are just holding on to theirs between fights. They keep asking about Cat Noir as well, and... I don't know how to keep dodging their questions. I'll... I don't know. We'll see if I write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary. It sure is October, huh? Cosplay orders are flying in. I don't think I can keep up with all the custom measurements. It's a shame, because this is usually when I make my spending money for the winter, but I think I'll have to ex stop accepting orders. Between the increased Akuma load and worrying about Adrian, I... I just don't have it in me. I'll write again tomorrow. Marinette. Dear diary. Adrian's been moved. I... I don't know where. Actually, no one seems to know, and the staff won't tell us. They won't even tell a superhero. I tried. Tiki didn't even get mad at me for abusing the mask, because she understood. If this had happened because of an Akuma, I could fix it, but no. The universe didn't let it work that way. <sighs> Right again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary. I didn't get out of bed today. I know mom and dad are worried. I don't think there was an Akuma fight. I'm tired. Marinette. Dear Diary, that cursed cat. Cat Noir showed up to an Akuma fight, cracked some jokes, flashed some poses for a passerby and a kid. Then he left. He brought my fist to his as I stood in shock, murmured a pound it, then sauntered off as I stood flabbergasted. And yet, from my perspective as Marinette, there's no news of Adrian. <sighs> I hate him. I love him, but I hate him for this. <sighs> I'm going to bed before I get sick. Good night, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, I cried when Adrian walked into class today. So did everyone, I think. They started clapping and everything. He didn't make eye contact with me, though. I don't know what face I was making, to be honest, but it 
probably wasn't polite. I kept waiting for him to show up tonight, but he didn't. I know I shouldn't get greedy, but am I wrong for thinking this whole return of his feels... off? Somehow? I'll keep you updated, diary. <sighs> Marinette. Dear diary, Cat Noir showed up with some drinks today. Apology, I guess? They were American-style drinks, and he insisted I try them. I liked the maple drink, but not the pumpkin spice. B -b -b but that's beside the point. I hugged him as tight as I could when he popped out of the floorboard of my room. And then we talked. We talked for hours, heart to heart. Really, I should have told him I'm Ladybug. It's only fair. But I didn't. I asked him if he knew who Ladybug was, though. He winked and told me identities were a secret, except between him and me. Which means I have no idea if he knows or not. I didn't get the chance to press it thanks to an interruption from my father. He popped in, saying it was too quiet upstairs. I guess we were talking in hushed voices, now that I think about it. Cat left shortly after. And oh, how my cheeks burn at the thought of him. I'm so upset. Yet I very much didn't want him to leave. I didn't realize how much I missed him in my life, even if it were for less than a week. <sighs> I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, after everything that happened yesterday and all that we talked about, I have to wonder if Cat Noir, or Adrian, however you'd like to view it, knows that I'm Ladybug. And if so, is that the only reason he started hanging out with me? Because I'm his idol crush? That's why Adrian started spending time with me one-on-one? -on -one? I can't let myself start thinking like that, or I'll get sick. But I also can't not think like that. <sighs> I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, With this huge debate of whether or not I should tell Cat Noir I'm Ladybug swirling around in my head, I don't feel much like writing. Nonetheless, I've got a good streak going on. Um, let's see. I got paired with Chloe for a project. Yuck. And Nathaniel let me read the next chapter of his comic, which was really nice. I love seeing how it's developing, even though it totally isn't canon. Anyway, I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, my brain is clearly clustered. I scheduled Luca and Adrian to show up for measurements on the same day, and while they had fun joking with each other, Cat Noir got brought up, and I felt super awkward. Don't get me wrong, it was also a relief to have Luca there as I measured Adrian. It kept me grounded. Luca asked me to join him out and about again. He, he he didn't call it a date, and I don't tend to write about his advances, but there's something about him that makes my ears red. Anyway, I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, Alia swung by with some American snacks from the import grocery a few blocks away. They were salty, but good. I didn't finish them because I know Cat, well, Adrian, I guess, too, huh, has a tooth for them. I know I sound all cheery, but I'm worried sick about him. He hasn't opened up about what happened yet. Anyway, I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear Diary, I was right. Cat went crazy for the snacks, but still nothing on what happened. I brought it up and he froze mid-bite, then set down the bag of Funyuns and stood up to leave without a word. It was weird. 
too weird. Like, my skin is crawling from it. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Marinette. Dear Diary, you know who also liked the snacks? Luca. I completely forgot to share some with him, but he swung by to help me out with the delivery, and he asked about them. We ended up just chilling in my bedroom, talking about music, and he tried to have me play a few chords again. It's not that I don't know a G chord. I just don't like how I have to manipulate my hand. I always feel like I'm going to cramp it up, and I honestly don't know how Luca does it. But enough about him. I thought I saw a cat through the window, but it might be my imagination? Whatever. I don't want to deal with his antics anymore. Um, I'll write again tomorrow. Diary? Um, Marinette. Dear Diary, I know I said I didn't want to deal with Cat Noir's antics anymore, but I realized that came out sounding a bit harsh. I'm upset with him. I'm tired of worrying. If he's not going to share with me, then so be it. But I'm upset he let me go through an emotionally draining cycle of worry and then act like it never happened. Sure, he didn't see the worry, but it kind of leaves a bitter taste on my tongue. I'm not going to dwell on it, mostly so I don't get akumatized, but a few huffs here and there won't hurt. Ugh, and class was boring today. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary. Blah. Today felt like a blah kind of day. No cat, no Luca, no Alia. I didn't even get a single thing crossed off my to-do list. I just lounged around watching TV and reading interviews about Adrian. He didn't drop a single hint about what happened to him, despite the pressing questions encircling him. I'm not the only girl in Paris who wants to know how he's doing, I guess. Ugh, whatever. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear Diary, It looks like I have some catching up to do in my life, but thankfully Luca volunteered to help me out. Honestly, between the two of us, the to-do list just flew by. That and he's such pleasant company, and I never have to worry about what he thinks of me. I mean, yes, I don't love it when I'm a giant dork in front of him, but at least when I stumble on a sentence, he smiles and patiently waits for me to sort it out. He's so charming. Any girl would be lucky to date him. But even with Alia's encouragement, I'm not. I don't know if I have feelings for him still, but I don't want to recognize them so I don't get hurt again like I did with Adrian. Or if he's just a convenient shoulder to lean on, but what does it matter? Either way, I'm not ready to commit right now. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary. Um, Cat Noir kissed me today. And by me, I mean Ladybug. Um, I didn't fight him off, but it's not like I gave him permission to do so. And thanks to the circumstances, I have no idea if it was a good kiss or not. I can't remember. Well, okay, I remember kissing him back, but that's a detail I'd like to erase from the ledger. Ugh, this could seriously mess up the dynamic between us. That and the last thing I want is to hear him raving about it when he's over here. Can you imagine how awkward that'd be? Ew, gross. No, I don't want my lips described to me like old English poetry. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, so guess who heard about the kiss between Cat Noir and Ladybug? If you guessed Alia, you're wrong. It was me, as Marinette, from a gushing Adrian. I'll admit that kissing him back probably sealed my fate, but it was a moment's hesitation because 
well, I knew he was Adrian in the moment. The crush I'd spent so long pining for. I mean, I was basically in love with him for years. I might still be in love with him. Really, as the guardian of the miraculous, I should have taken away his miraculous as soon as I found out, but I guess I'm not as disciplined as I should be. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, every now and then I wonder if Cat knows I'm Ladybug. Well, after that kiss, I no longer have to suspect it. There's no way he'd rave about it to Marinette, knowing how much it would bug Ladybug if he knew I am, well, me. No way. Absolutely no way. Ugh, this dumb cat. Why do I like him so much? Anyway, I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, I spent some time with Luca today, and it was really nice. Can you guess why? Because he didn't bring up kissing. Nothing about kissing Ladybug, or kissing other girls, or how much he wanted another kiss. He didn't mention anything of the sort. It was... It was paradise. It also ate my time, though. I tend to lose track around him, and I am terribly late for bed. So I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary. Well, um, Cat knows I'm Ladybug. I mean, he didn't know I'm Ladybug until today. The sheer shock on his face was enough to tell me that, but I guess that answers that question? Anyway, he's sitting in the corner of my room, just watching, not saying a word. I'm a bit unnerved by it, but I also understand. Oof, this is a mess. It's a mess, and I have to deal with it thanks to my responsibilities of being the guardian of the miraculous. <sighs> I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear Diary, it doesn't seem fair. I'm the one who messed up, so how come he has to be punished by taking away his miraculous? Granted, this also means I should be giving up my miraculous, too. Is it really any harm if we hold our secrets like this? I mean, besides the obvious and unfortunate torture scenario, what's the harm? I know I'm rationalizing at this point, but I'm no longer sure what to do. This isn't as black and white as Master Fu made it sound, and it's not like I can go to him and ask anymore. I don't know what will win out. My discipline or my love for my partner. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear Diary. So, it's been two days since Kat waited for me to get home and accidentally saw me detransform in my bedroom, and, well, it's been hectic. So, today, I was hanging out with Luca, Julica, and Rose downtown, and he swooped in to stand between me and Luca. Weirdo. The part of me that grew up reading romance is tickled pink, but the feminist in me wants to rage quit at him. <sighs> I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear Diary, it sure is hard to stay mad at a guy who buys you fancy ice drinks from a name brand coffee shop, but I digress. I'm still mad at Cat, obviously, and he absolutely overstepped. He's not getting away with kissing that easily. Anyway, I'm just in a blah mood. My period started this afternoon, and I'm craving more of whatever drink he brought me, so blah. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary. Um, well, Kat showed up with a lot of roses today. Like, I've never seen so many roses in my life. But when I tried to talk to him, he noped out of here. He just, like, 
peace signed and left. Um, okay, that's not how that's supposed to work, but okay. Very confused, not sure what to do, but okay. And now my room smells like flowers. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear Diary, I still can't pin Cat down to talk to him, but Adrian kept turning around and straight up staring at me during class. Staring. Didn't even look away when we made eye contact. Weirdo. Like, I get it, but still, weirdo. Made me super uncomfortable, unfortunately. I'm sure we'll find some kind of new normal eventually, but this ain't it. At least... I hope it isn't. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, what am I supposed to do with all of these flowers? Take a bath with the petals? Turn them into tea? Honestly, I prefer citrus scents over flowers, so as ungraceful as it sounds, I had to throw a lot of them out because the smell gave me a bit of a headache. I was at least able to greet Adrian today, and he said hello back. Ugh. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary. So today, finally, I sat down with Kat and had a chat. A real heart-to-heart chat. I think it went okay. We talked about him seeing me detransform in my room... About how it's unfair that I knew about him all this time and not the other way around. About my responsibilities as the guardian. And then, finally, the kiss. Um, we talked about the kiss. I'll write again tomorrow, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, it... Looks like Cat Noir is lamenting the end of spooky season tomorrow, even though he literally went missing for a good chunk of it. Serves him right for worrying us so much. But, uh, anyway, uh, Cat Noir, Adrian, yeah, um, we're dating now? I think. <sighs> It makes me wish I was clear in communication. Like, I don't actually know if I'm his girlfriend, or if he's mine, or if I... (sighs) Good night, diary. Marinette. Dear diary, it's the end of spooky season, I guess. Halloween is a couple... Um, Cat Noir showed up with a Cat Noir costume for me to wear and a ladybug one for himself. What a ridiculous boy. We don't even celebrate Halloween here. I mean, I did, like, his, um, corgi in the ladybug costume? Of course, but Adrian looks good in anything, so him cosplaying me, then watching some American witch movie as a whole makes my heart squeak, and not just the outfit itself. (sighs) I'm happy. Good night, diary. Marinette. Thank you so much for listening. I think we had some jets overhead for the last couple days. Um, days as in dear diary days, not like recording days. Um, so if you heard that rumble in the back, that's um, it's airport life for you. Anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Month eleven's next. <laughs>